So a few months back, I talked about how I had like a graffiti story I was going to tell because people really love, for some reason, stories about graffiti or like if I had anything to do with vandalizing. And I'm pretty good about that stuff. I never really was too into it. I do like artwork and shit like that. So graffiti did interest me. But I had this story that I was saving. I completely forgot about it and it never crossed my mind to tell it. And then today on Twitter, someone's like, yo, are you ever going to tell that story you promised us about graffiti? I was like, oh, shit. So yeah, let's get into it. So a couple years ago, I got really into graffiti. Like I had a whole kit. I had like the uh, paint markers and shit like that. And I had a book where I would just like draw sketches and stuff like that. And I really wanted to take it to the next level. Okay. And I've had a few experiences like this, but this one was probably the best of all of them. Um, or the worst, you could say, but I wanted to go out and do my artwork on a bridge, okay? There's this bridge by my house, completely awesome, like, there's nobody around at night, like, everyone's just kind of minding their own business, and you can do it there, because that's where graffiti gets done, really, like, it's all over there. So me and a couple buddies went up there one night, like, three in the morning, we waited till, like, real late to go up there, and they were very, very good at tagging, like, they were awesome, and he was working on this crazy thing that he had, it was like an octopus or something, I don't know, look, it was really awesome, um... But I was just doing my little, like, fucking shitty whatever it was. I didn't even know what I was working on. I was doing, like, a brick pattern, and then I was doing, like, my name and cool letters. It really wasn't anything crazy, but I just liked doing it for some reason. And I know some of you are going to be like, Luna, people have to pay for that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, everyone does it on this bridge, and it's never been covered up. No city has ever paid to cover it up. They really don't care. They kind of like it because the designs that get put onto this bridge are really awesome looking. And uh, it makes it, I guess, kind of a little historical landmark for our little town. And, um, yeah, they don't care. So we're doing graffiti, and I, at least I thought they didn't care. Um, some dude pulled over his car. Uh, we didn't know who it was. We didn't know why he was pulling over. But he looked a little suspicious, and we didn't know what to do. So we just kind of quickly put everything away and just sat there for a second. And we couldn't see into his car because it was so late. And then he drove away, and we were like, okay, he's gone, no big deal, like, he's not going to do anything. And then something else happened, okay? After he drove away, we could see him slow down and stop for a little bit. He stopped again, and that's when we were like, okay, what the fuck? And that put us on edge. We were a little freaked out when we saw this. And he sat there for a good, like, 10 minutes and then drove away. And he drove away real slow, like, very, very slow. So we got a little nervous, and me being the little fucking bitch that I am, I was like, I can't do this, guys, I can't do this, and my friend's like, dude... They don't care, man. Like, trust me. They're, what do you think he's going to do? Come back and arrest us? Like, he's not a cop. I was like, are you sure? He's like, dude, I doubt it. Like, why would he just sit there and then drive away like that? If he was a cop or someone who was calling the cops, he would have got out of his car and told us to, you know, beat it. So, like, okay, whatever. And I still was on edge. Okay, guys, I put my stuff away. I put everything away. Like, I didn't want to do it anymore. And I just kind of watched my friends. And that's when it got a little real, okay? We saw bright-ass lights coming down the street. And I could just tell by the way the lights looked and how the front of the car looked. It was a fucking cop car, okay? It was a cop car. And we were like, okay, we have two options. Run as fast as we can and try and beat these cops, even though it's probably not going to happen considering the area that we were in was so open and there was nowhere to hide. Or just talk to them. And I looked at my friends and they looked at me and they're like, you know what? Let's just fucking talk to them. Why not? So I was doing like... Okay, we had paint all over our hands, okay? But mine was probably the least filled with paint. Like, my hands were... They had paint on them, but if I put my sleeves down, you couldn't really see them because I had a hoodie on. So I put my sleeves down, and I walked over to a bike path where they were parking. And I sat by the bike path, and this guy got out of his car, this cop, and the other one was sitting there. And they walked over to my friends, and they didn't see me. So I thought that was kind of weird. And they walked over to my friends and started talking to them. And I could hear him say, he's like, you know, what's going on here? What are you guys up to so late? Do your parents know you're out here? And I realized that they didn't see me. Like, I was completely just sitting there in this little bike path area where they parked. But when he got out of his car, I was just enough behind him where he couldn't see where I was. But it was kind of weird. Like, I at that moment, I probably could have just walked away and not even said anything to them. But I walked up there, obviously, because I didn't want to just leave my friends. And I obviously probably would have gotten caught anyway if I tried to leave. So I walked up there, and I say, hey, what's up? And this cop's like, who are you? And my friend was just like, oh, hey, man. And he's like, is he involved with you guys? And my friend's like, no, he was just here watching. I was like, dude, like, (laughs) I was looking at my friend, giving him the look of just thank you. And the cop goes, you weren't involved in this. I was like, no, I was just watching. He's like, does your parents know you're here? I'm like, yeah, they do. They told me to be home in an hour. He's like, why don't you get home now? And when he said this, I was in disbelief. I was like, holy fuck, he didn't even look at my hands or anything. So I put my sleeves down to make sure he didn't look at my hands. And I looked at my friend and he just kind of winked at me. Like, he didn't really wink, but he gave me like a smirk. And I was like, okay, I guess that's my signal. So I walked away and I was walking away real slow, just trying to see what was going on. And this cop, you could hear his voice. He was very angry. He was, like, half yelling. And I I texted my friend. I was like, dude, please give me updates. If you guys are, like, okay, please tell me. 
And after about 15 minutes, maybe like 25, I get a text from one of my friends saying, dude, come here now. So I thought I was fucked. I thought they, you know, they found my backpack or something. I thought they found a can of spray paint and wanted to like fingerprint me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just so fucking nervous. And I ran up there and there was no cops. And I was like, what the fuck? So I looked at my friends and they look at me and they're smiling. I went up there. I was like, what happened? And this, my friend goes to explain the whole story of what happened after I left. And I guess all that happened was the cop came over to them, screamed at them, literally like yelled at them apparently, and just like threatened them to every single extent that he could. Like he talked about putting them in jail. He talked about citating them. He talked about writing his parents like legal problems. I don't even know. But he was just talking about a whole bunch of fucked up stuff. And apparently after he threatened all my friends, he just said never do it again and walked off. And that's when I was like, dude, no fucking way. I thought they were lying. Like, I was never caught vandalizing before this, so I was like, what the fuck? Like, I thought they would take it a lot more seriously, and they didn't, apparently. And we got away with it. And, um, yeah, it was a little bit more careful next time, because I was like, okay, maybe we shouldn't tag that bridge without, you know, looking first and checking for cars. But, um, we were really lucky, and I thought I would tell you guys about this, because, um, there's a few little, um, problems I've had while doing graffiti and tagging and stuff like that, and it scared the shit out of me, and I'll tell you a part two to this soon. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, and yeah, leave a comment below with some of your experiences, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you all so much. Peace.